We are us loving Wanderlust. We are a family from South Africa who sold everything to travel the world. After traveling Malaysia for 90 days, this is our take for the top 10 spots to go and what to do, what to see in Malaysia. Starting off with Kuala Lumpur, the entry point for our journey and obviously a must see for every tourist coming to Malaysia. The Petronas Twin Towers must be our top spot. It has a huge KLCC mall with lots of entertainment and on the third floor the food courts are some of the best pizzas for the cheapest price you could find in Malaysia. The park outside offers a swimming pool for the kids and a huge playground to keep the kids busy for hours. But it is at night the Twin Towers really catches your breath in its beauty and size with a vibe and atmosphere that gets cameras going and the time flies. The hop on and hop off bus is an easy and affordable way to get around the city to all the popular attractions with 23 stops and over 70 attractions. Chinatown, if you are in the mood for shopping or just browsing around, then Petaling Street in Chinatown must be a stop but be prepared to negotiate. Not far from Petaling Street is also Kasturi Walk which is also worth visiting. Penang Island Known for its culture and heritage, Penang offers plenty to do for tourists with Georgetown being the second biggest city and the most dense populated area in Malaysia. This island is connected to the mainland by two bridges. The longest one is 24 kilometers and the Penang Bridge is 8 kilometers. The wall art in Georgetown is very popular amongst tourists and provides plenty of photo opportunities. Another popular attraction is the Chu Jetty with its own unique heritage and history. Enjoy some fresh air at the green lungs of Georgetown. Nestled in the city, you will find the botanical gardens. Here you can catch the cable car up the Pitnang Hill for great views over the city. The Snake Temple is also a unique place to visit filled with burning incense and a variety of spit vipers curled up in trees all around you. Penang National Park is another getaway from the busy city life where you can do an easy and relaxing jungle hike or take a boat to beautiful isolated beaches. Batu Ferengi, known for its beautiful sunsets, must be the most touristy place in Penang, offering lots of beach activities such as parasailing and jet skiing. Penang is known for the diversity of food. Experience some famous local dishes at a street market or enjoy your dinner at a variety of restaurants all over the island. For the brave at heart, there is the most feared durian, the king of fruit. Known for its awful smell, this must be the most expensive and popular fruit we ever came across. Visit a durian farm and go and find out for yourself. You haven't liked it from the first bite, but for me it took a while before I also started getting addicted to the strange fruit. Langkawi this duty-free island borders Thailand and is an archipelago of 104 islands, of which only four are inhabited. Skull Beach to the north was our first stop for some quality beach time, a beautiful and not too busy beach ideal for swimming. Close by, you'll find the spectacular Temurin waterfall, perfect for a dip in the clear blue waters. On the northeastern side, you will find the Roo Beach, which is long, with its long white sandy beaches and unique rock formations. Chenang Beach is the most touristy beach, offering water activities such as parasailing and jet skiing. The beach comes to life at night with fire dancers and restaurants laying out tables all over. At Kilim Geo Forest Park, you can witness unique caustic hills surrounded by mangrove forests in the comfort of your boat. Watch the eagles feeding and dodge some cheeky monkeys at the crocodile and bat caves. A fish farm with a restaurant is also on the route. View the island from the sky bridge high up in the sky. Take the sky cap up the mountain for a spectacular view. Have some fun at the sky dome, run from dinosaurs at sky wrecks, and let your imagination run wild at the 4D Art Museum. 
The four island tour takes you to the most scenic islands in the south. We explored the pregnant maiden, a freshwater lake in the middle of the ocean. We witnessed eagles feeding and concluded the day with some beach time on a secluded island. Perenshin The Perenshin Islands consist of two islands, Kisil and Bizarre. We stayed on Kisil Island, the smaller one of the two with more of a backpacker vibe. We stayed at Butterfly Cottages on Coral Bay on the western side. This is Backpacker's Haven, staying right on the beach with the most amazing views overlooking crystal clear water and mesmerizing sunsets, our own little paradise. For the more adventurous, there is Rainforest Campsite, about 700 meters jungle trekking to the south. It also has its own nice little bar and restaurant. Long Beach is about 700 meters walk to the east, and it, this beach has a total different vibe to it, and it's an ideal swimming beach. Get in the vibe at the very rustic beach bar in the middle of the beach surrounded by a row of restaurants. Water taxis are the main means of transport taking you to different spots on the island as well as the bigger island bazaar. Snorkeling can be done on the beach but the best spots are the smaller surrounding islands with an abundance of fish. Reef tip sharks have been spotted at some dive spots. The lighthouse is a popular snorkeling site with the most concentrated amount of fish. Kapas Island Kapas, meaning cotton in Malay, refers to its wide sandy beaches. With its laid back and relaxed setting one can enjoy the sunset from one of the numerous swings nestled amongst the trees across the beach or just chill in a hammock. This is the smallest island we, we visited and one can easily walk from the south to the north where you can see an even smaller little island, Palau Jemia, with its own resort. Taking a break from all the island hopping, a good place to go is Lake Kenya. This man-made lake is home to over 300 small little islands and has plenty to offer for the tourists such as waterfalls, caves and houseboat trips. With all the development we can foresee this to be a very popular tourist attraction in the near future. Tillman Island Tumen Island is the largest island on the eastern peninsula. With its crystal clear waters, it is very popular for its diving, hosting over a dozen shipwrecks including the World War II wrecks such as HMS Repulse and Prince of Wales. Plenty of accommodation is available. Here you will find the upmarket Briaja Resort with its own golf course and a nice beach bar to enjoy a drink whilst overlooking some amazing sunsets. For the more budget conscious travellers like us, Panuba Resort is a good option. This resort is somewhat isolated but a sea taxi will get you there in no time. This island offers some amazing jungle tracking through its beautiful jungle and rainforest trees to discover isolated beaches and small interesting villages. Tiuman is definitely an island to go and explore. Borneo Borneo has two states, Sarawak and Sabah. We started off at Sarawak's capital, Kuching. It's very famous for its Sarawak laksa. Try this popular dish at the Chong Chun Cafe. Visit the beautiful and lively waterfront at night and while they're there, have some of Kuching's three-layered cake. It is divine. Top spot food court on the roof of a parking lot is a must-go for the seafood lover with so many options to choose from. Barker National Park is an hour's drive from Kuching. It is famous for its unique coastline and iconic cobra head. This is a must go for the trekking enthusiast with plenty of hiking options and also the possibility of seeing proboscis monkeys. Sabah's capital Kota Kinabalu or KK is a very modern city with so much energy. Explore the local fish markets and end the day off with a classy dinner at one of the modern restaurants at the waterfront. Travel to the highest mountain in Sabah, Mount Kinabalu. Within two days and the help of a guide, you will be able to reach the top. If climbing mountains are not your thing, just take a drive there and experience this majestic mountain. This is really something to see. 
Our last stop spot is Borneo's Drain Forest, where you can become one with nature. Home to the pygmy elephants, orangutans and proboscis monkeys. Take a boat cruise along Kinabantangan River where you might also come across the biggest and scariest crocodiles. Stay in a cabin in the rainforest where jungle sounds will be the only music to your ears. Really a once in a lifetime experience. This was it for Malaysia and this beautiful country and the amazing people we have met along the way. We just loved Malaysia. Thank you for watching the video. Please follow our journey around the world and hit the subscribe button. Bye. Bye. Bye.